Howdy, how's it going? Today's gonna to be a fun one, something a little bit different. I'm gonna take you out and drive in a barn find. F-I-N-E, not F-I-N-D, meaning not something derelict that's been sitting neglected, eaten by mice, but something that like is just an exceptional example of an original vehicle that's kind of rare, fun, nostalgic, and kind of cool. So what we have here today is a 1970 Ford short bed fleet side four by four pickup truck. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's a very rare truck. When's the last time you saw one? A lot of times they would have the step side bed, long bed, or the long fleet. But a four wheel drive short bed is super rare and they're just cool. They've got a great vibe to them. They got a killer stance. This one sits up nice and proud. It has a moderate Rancho suspension lift that's been put on it. Fairly recently from what I can tell, new bushings and such. Brand new 33 by 10.5 BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Factory wheels, factory hubcaps, 100% originals, so paint, upholstery, headliner, door panels, dash pad, windshield, it's all stock. And yeah, it's not perfect, but the way I see it, something like this, I mean, that's, that's kind of part of the fun, right? It's in nice enough shape that you can trust it, you can drive it around and enjoy it, but it's not so nice that you're having to tiptoe around it and God forbid not actually use it like intended. It's a truck, you're supposed to be able to beat on it. So this is something I just stumbled into in my usual bad habit of hunting for vintage mechanical proclivities. And I kind of thought about it initially for Icon because I thought it'd be really cool to do a one-off Icon, you know, maybe a reformer on this generation Ford pickup. But when the truck showed up and I really started looking it over, I thought, you know what? This one might be better just to leave alone, you know? Leave it dead stock and let someone else do whatever the heck it is they wanna do. Plus the reality was at Icon, for me to do a reformer like this, it's kind of irresponsible to even be soliciting such jobs when it's a couple years before we have the bandwidth to even be able to physically start on it. So this truck stock is in great shape. It runs nice and cool. It's pretty reliable, I've had no issues. The prior owner gave it an excellent bill of health as well. And um, I just rebuilt the steering box because that was a little too sloppy. Otherwise, rare for me to say, but proud to say I did nothing. Literally, like I washed it. And this isn't like a get rich scheme because I paid a lot of money for it because I respected the condition. It's just about finding someone else who digs it and wants to run it just like it is. And look, if you want to repaint it, reupholster it, upgrade it, I'm happy to help you do any of that. But I think the conditions and the originality of the truck, just as it sits, warrant just leaving it alone and enjoying it. It's got a couple little leaks here and there, but nothing catastrophic. Engine runs incredibly smooth. It's the factory 360 with a four-speed manual, really nice and light clutch, surprisingly enough. Uh, first gear is a granny gear, so you pretty much treat it like a three-speed. And then a part-time four-wheel drive T-case and uh, I suppose that's all I got for you. Hey, look, even the radio is stock. The original AM radio. Not that anyone's gonna wanna use it. I don't think it works, but everything else seems to work. I noticed the parking brake does a crappy job of actually holding it. Exhaust, yeah, I hear a couple exhaust leaks, but nothing catastrophic. And I guess at the end of the day, yeah, you tinker with it all you wish, but I'll tell you it has a clean enough bill of health to just hop in it, enjoy it, run it, have fun, and then decide, do whatever you wanna do over time, you know? And by the way, I lied, that AM radio was just starting to come to life, so I guess it does work. What else can I tell you? Uh, super cool colors, some rips in the upholstery, original floor mats, the images in this video will be more thorough than me blah, blah, blahing, but um, check it out. If you dig it, come get it. The price on it is 19,500. You can find more details at tlc4x4.com. You can call us at 818-280-3330. 
And uh, as always, follow me on Instagram. The Icon brand on Instagram is Icon4x4. TLC brand is TLC4x4. Facebook, it's just my name, Jonathan Ward. Thanks again for taking the time to watch yet another one of my videos. And don't forget, hit that like button. Ask me questions. I answer all but the dumbest of questions. And I'm all about engagement and getting my viewership up on our channel. So thanks again. Appreciate the support.